I can't believe it. You guys escaped an alien spaceship. Keywords, alien spaceship. I have questions. They can wait. Thanks for helping me get my sister home. Yeah, man. What's our status? Nothing, since the Dominators paid their little visit to mess with our heads. Why would they do that? What if they were trying to pit us against each other in order to gain intel about metahumans? Man, I wish they would just send us an IM with a questionnaire. Well, meta has posed the biggest threat to their invasion. It would make sense they'd want to get to know their enemies. By kidnapping people. Perhaps they were searching your minds for potential metahuman vulnerabilities. I think it's time we return the favor. What do you want to do, kidnap one of them now? Ever since we fought off that one ship, they've kind of been in short supply. Actually, I know where to find one. I've been reviewing old army footage of their first encounters with their dominators, and I think I pegged the fight to... Redmond, Oregon, 1951. You're suggesting we travel to 1951, abduct a dominator, and interrogate it to determine their intentions. They kidnapped us. Seems fair. <sighs> Time travel. I'm definitely in. Okay, hold on. Uh, Professor Stein and Caitlin have been talking about a way to take down the Dominators. They could probably use your help. Pass. Yeah, I mean, I'm with him, mostly because I just don't want to lose my geek cred, but time travel. <laughs> I could take a Mayan mech. Do it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the new president called, which would be cool under different circumstances, but she wants to meet with us. Let's bring Ray and Sarah's back up. What about me? I can do backup. I'll talk to you for a second. Professor? It's highly unlikely we can fashion a weapon with sufficient force to overcome the Dominators. I was thinking the exact same thing, which is why I invited... So what if instead we try to attack them with something infinitesimally small? I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with the story of the lion with the thorn in his paw. You used to love telling me that story when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, oh. Hello. The lion with the thorn in his paw is a parable, a story about a big, ferocious creature that is felled by something small. So, what do you need help with? Uh, I'm afraid it's, uh, it's classified. Oh, juicy. Some sort of secret government space weapon, no doubt. Something like that, only this sort of work is slightly out of my wheelhouse. Yeah, if only you knew someone with a PhD in nanotechnology. Yeah, unfortunately, Raymond's busy working on other things. I was talking about me. Did the six years I spent at MIT magically slip your mind? Of course not. I'm just uh, preoccupied with my work, that's all. You know, you're really taking this whole absent-minded professor thing to a new level. I don't know what you mean. Your daughter, ever since you've come back, you've treated her like a total stranger. That's because she is a total stranger. I'm sorry. It's just that when I last left 2016, that young woman did not exist. Wait, you're saying Lily belongs to another timeline? That when Barry created Flashpoint, Unfortunately, she... this is all my fault. You see, a month ago, I interacted with my younger self back in 1987, and unwittingly motivated him, me, to sire a child. So it's because of my carelessness that this time aberration exists. She is not an aberration. She is brilliant and funny and a lot like you, just a little less uptight. Please, stop talking about her like this. She is not a real person. She is a real person. She's your daughter. Wait. When we finish fighting the Dominators, you're gonna go back in time and erase her? No. I'm going to restore the timeline. Unlike your friend, Barry, I have the luxury of fixing my mistakes. 